Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. It's fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, the teacher is the most important. We always overestimate the change that will occur in the next two years and underestimate the change that will occur in the next ten. Don't let yourself be lulled into an action. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. The Internet is becoming the town square for the global village of tomorrow. Discrimination has a lot of layers that make it tough for minorities to get a leg up. Information technology and business are becoming inextricably interwoven. I don't think anybody can talk meaningfully about one without the talking about the other. As we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. Drones overall will be more impactful than I think people recognize, in positive ways to help society. Intellectual property has the shelf life of a banana. The advance of technology is based on making it fit in so that you don't really even notice it, so it's part of everyday life. I really had a lot of dreams when I was a kid, and I think a great deal of that grew out of the fact that I had a chance to read a lot. Legacy is a stupid thing. I don't want a legacy. Software is a great combination between artistry and engineering. Capitalism has worked very well. Anyone who wants to move to North Korea is welcome. Climate change is a terrible problem, and it absolutely needs to be solved. It deserves to be a huge priority. Treatment without prevention is simply unsustainable. I believe that if you show people the problems and you show them the solutions they will be moved to act. Headlines, in a way, are what mislead you because bad news is a headline, and gradual improvement is not. We make the future sustainable when we invest in the poor, not when we insist on their suffering. Headlines, in a way, are what mislead you because bad news is a headline, and gradual improvement is not. I never took a day off in my twenties. Not one. And I'm still fanatical, but now I'm a little less fanatical. In the long run, your human capital is your main base of competition. Your leading indicator of where you're going to be 20 years from now is how well you're doing in your education system. In business, the idea of measuring what you are doing, Picking the measurements that count like customer satisfaction and performance, you thrive on that. I believe in innovation and that the way you get innovation is you fund research and you learn the basic facts. Everyone needs a coach. It doesn't matter whether you're a basketball player, a tennis player, a gymnast, or a bridge player. Nuclear energy, in terms of an overall safety record, is better than other energy. 
Money has no utility to me beyond a certain point. The future of advertising is the Internet. By improving health, empowering women, population growth comes down. If your culture doesn't like geeks, you are in real trouble. Security is, would say, our top priority because for all the exciting things you will be able to do with computers, organizing your lives, staying in touch with people, being creative, if we don't solve these security problems, then people will hold back. Two out of every five people on Earth today owe their lives to the higher crop outputs that fertilizer has made possible. Digital technology has several features that can make it much easier for teachers to pay special attention to all their students. I think it makes sense to believe in God but exactly what decision in your life you make differently because of it, I don't know. The worst pandemic in modern history was the Spanish flu of 1918, which killed tens of millions of people. Today, with how interconnected the world is, it would spread faster. It's possible, you can never know that the universe exists only for me. If so, it's sure going well for me, I must admit. I have been struck again and again by how important measurement is to improving the human condition. The intersection of law, politics, and technology is going to force a lot of good thinking. There are more people dying of malaria than any specific cancer. Teaching's hard. You need different skills, positive reinforcement, keeping students from getting bored, commanding their attention in a certain way. There is a difference between what technology enables and what historical business practices enable. When a country has the skill and self-confidence to take action against its biggest problems, it makes outsiders eager to be a part of it. I know there's a farmer out there somewhere who never wants a PC and that's fine with me. Corruption is one of the most common reasons I hear in views that criticize aid. We are in the throes of a transition where every publication has to think of their digital strategy. Effective philanthropy requires a lot of time and creativity, the same kind of focus and skills that building a business requires. We've got to put a lot of money into changing behavior. Unfortunately, the highly curious student is a small percentage of the kids. Technology is unlocking the innate compassion we have for our fellow human beings. Being flooded with information doesn't mean we have the right information or that we're in touch with the right people. While private money can take risks in a way that government money often isn't willing to. In almost every area of human endeavor, the practice improves over time. That hasn't been the case for teaching. In this business, by the time you realize you're in trouble, it's too late to save yourself. Unless you're running scared all the time, you're gone. The best teacher is very interactive. Nobody believes in completely unadulterated capitalism. Expectations are a form of first-class truth. If people believe it, it's true. Flying cars are not a very efficient way to move things from one point to another. 